will roar like true British sailors. We'll rant and we'll rave across the salt sea.
deep. You may hear the tales of ships that sank beneath the churning sea, but this story is a hell of one, a tale of victory. When seven midgets fished a crew out of a flaming sea. Our next song is a song written by our dear friend Janie Manili. Janie grew up in and around the Chesapeake Bay amongst the uh, sailing community and amongst the, or the oyster industry. And she spent many, many days and nights on ships, on board ship. And she wrote this particular song about perhaps what happens to many sailors over the years something that many find hard to believe, but many swear to. <laughs> On the starboard bow, see her topsails a pulling as she's closing from the west. She's dark as tar, and I pray she's just some fishing scow. A night like this could sprout a few more hairs upon the chest. All hands on deck now, make ready with the running gear. We'll bring our head around. And we'll damn well try to run Friend or foe She's got no reason being here Cut across our bow Like some hellion on the run Steady boys I can't exactly make her out She looks to be a brigantine I think I see her spawn Ready, boys, we may just have to come about. I wish to hell she'd show a light and tell us who they are. She's got her royals flying with the wind right off her quarter deck. Here we're barely making way with zappers from the north. For all the years we've been at sea, I've been around the water. Heck, I think we're seeing something we ain't never seen before. The old timers tell us all about the specter ships they've seen. But we just sit and listen, and we hide our laughter in our sleeves. Tonight might make us wonder just what it is we do believe. Someone standing at the wheel Must be the starlight Reflected in his eyes He's big as life And laughing like he's fit to kill Did anybody notice? There ain't no stars tonight She's got her royals flying With the wind right off her quarter deck here we're barely making way with zappers from the north. For all the years we've been at sea, 
I've been around the water, heck, I think we're seeing something we ain't never seen. Watch her go. Did she even see us here? Plowing through the darkness like some demon on the outs. Leave her go and let's set our course for out of here. I just as soon not hang around in case she comes about. All hands on deck now, make ready with the running here. We'll bring our head around. And we'll damn well try to run. Red before. She's got no reason being here. Cutting across our bow like some hell you on the run. The old timers tell us all about the specter ships they've seen. But we just sit and listen. And we hide our laughter in our sleeves. Tonight might make us wonder just what it is we do believe. You've probably heard of Aaron Burr. But have you heard of his daughter, Theodosia? Well, if you're familiar with the Broadway musical Hamilton, of course you are familiar with Theodosia. Theodosia had quite a history. She was born and raised to be quite a refined lady, and she married the governor of South Carolina. Well, after her father's exile and return to New York City, she decided to take a ship to New York to bring him a gift, a gift of a portrait of herself. But her ship was shipwrecked off the coast of uh, the Outer Banks, and nobody really knows what happened. However, the old timers will tell a story that between Christmas and New Year's every year, if you go out on the beach in Nags Head, you'll see the specter of a fair lady carrying her portrait by the sea. <laughs> When the Patriot came ashore, Theodosia was carrying her portrait for her father in the north. The legend endures how the land pirates lured her ship with their lanterns aflame. Theodosia heard the sound of the mast breaking down, and she called out her father's dear name. When the pirates came aboard from their long boats ashore, they would spare not a soul of the crew. And when over the side they threw her handmaid to the tide, Theodosia's mind was lost too. When the wreckers realized right, they took pity on her plight, and they carried her safely to the shore. Now she walked the shoreline, hoping endlessly to find the memory of who she'd been. She lingered on wherever good folk would let her stay. And when Dr. Poole called, he saw her portrait on the wall, and that portrait was offered him as pay. But Lady Theo would not let that portrait fall, and she dashed with it into the misty night. 
The portrait was found on the shore north of town, but Theodosia was gone at morning light. Once I caught him sleeping right on the barroom floor. He took off with me wallet and he didn't bring it back. But if you don't know any sailors, then you don't know Jack. My Jack, he likes the ladies, but he's only got one eye. It sure does keep him busy when there's lassies passing by. But certain girls aren't worth a glance or so, he says to me. Cause if they got their clothes on, then what's for Jack to see? He took off with me wallet and he didn't bring it back. But if you don't know any sailors, then you don't know Jack. My Jack is very spiritual, he's into meditation. He contemplates his navel with the utmost dedication. He's really into Buddha and all mysteries profound. He's read the Kama Sutra with every girl in town. He took off with me wallet and he didn't bring it back. But if you don't know any sailors, then you don't know Jack. He took me to the seashore and gave a little wink. Said he'd supply the dinner if I'd provide the drink. Filet mignon and lobster, it was really all quite fine. But he forgot his wallet and he had to borrow mine. He took off with me wallet and he didn't bring it back. But if you don't know any sailors, then you don't know Jack. My friends all say that I should just forget about poor Jack. He's gone to sail the ocean blue and won't be coming back. But he told me to wait for him right on the Hatteras shore. When he's picked your wallet clean, he'll be back for more. He took off with me wallet and he didn't bring it back. But if you don't know any sailors, then you don't know Jack. I don't care about my wallet. I just hope he's coming back. Cause if you don't know any sailors, then you don't know Jack. There was a very special life-saving station on Pea Island. That life-saving station's entire crew was African-American. Partly because white people did not want to be working with black people at that time. The very famous keeper was Keeper Richard Etheridge. And today we sing for you now the story of the freedmen, surfmen, and heroes of the Pea Island Life Saving Station. Freedmen, surfmen, Heroes, freedmen, surfmen, heroes. Come listen to the story, every word of it is true, of Keeper Richard Etheridge and his brave and trusty crew. Three. 
has a happy place and my happy place is on deck of my sailboat with this wonderful first mate of mine where we're sailing the sound. When the wind gets blowing about ten knots and the water starts to dance, let's step the mast Raise the sail, cause darling, this is our chance to go sail in the sound. There's no one around, just the gulls in the sky, and fish the jump to watch us sail by. Finally our turn to go sail in the sound There's no one around Just some dolls in the sky And fish that jump to watch us sail
tell me to be goodbye and stay safe at the sound. There's no one around, just for God. Well, the next song we'd like to sing for you is a real traditional sea shanty. You know, it was the second mate's job to strike a bell to signal for everybody to go below decks whenever there was very terrible weather, when, it met, when the sailors were at sea. And in this song, everybody is just wishing the second mate would strike the bell. Up on the deck and walking all about, there's the second mate, so steady and so stout. What he is a-thinking of, he doesn't know himself. We're wishing he would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Strike, strike the, the bell, bell, second mate, let us go below. Look ye well to windward, ye can see it's going to blow. Look at the glass, ye can see that it has fell. We're wishing ye would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Down on the main deck, working at the pumps. There's the starboard watch just longing for their bunks. Cause when they look to windward, they see a great swell. They're wishing ye would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Strike the bell, second mate, let us go below. Look ye well to windward, ye can see it's going to blow. Look at the glass, ye can see that it has fell. We wish that ye would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Back at the wheel, poor Anderson stands, grasping at the spokes with his cold mitten hands. He's looking at the compass and the course is clear as hell. He's wishing that the second mate would strike, strike the bell. Strike, strike the bell, bell, second mate, mate let us go below. Look ye well to windward, ye can see it's going to blow. Look at the glass, ye can see that it has fell. We wish that ye would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Out on the poop deck, our gallant captain stands, looking out to sea with a spyglass in his hands. What he is a thinking of, we know very well. He's thinking more of short and sail than striking the bell. Strike the bell, second mate, let us go below. Look ye well to windward, ye can see it's going to blow. Look at the glass, ye can see that it has fell. We're wishing ye would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. Strike the bell, second mate, let us go below. Look ye well to windward, ye can see it's going to blow. Look at the glass, you can see that it has fell. We're wishing you would hurry up and strike, strike the bell. About a 45 minute ferry boat ride south of here will take you to Ocracoke Island. And it's just off that island, a little more than 300 years ago, that the famed pirate Blackbeard met his end. <laughs> Is he a soldier or a privateer? They only knew when a ship came in sight. You pray it's not black beer. Pray it's not black beer. Some claimed his name was Edward Teach, or the gentleman fine and true, till he was betrayed by some in a deal, and to the sea withdrew, to the sea withdrew. There he proved a leader, strong and brave, and gathered him a mighty crew, declaring war on merchant ships, and all that he once knew on the life that he once knew. It's 
said if he came alongside your ship and you did not resist, he'd load all your cargo and run to his boat, but he'd spare you his fist. He'd live to see the morning mist. One November night, 1718, while hosting friends and his crew, he was unaware there were ships in the south, bringing justice to They were sworn to bring the justice to finish our time with you and thank you so much for being with us. We'd like to finish our time with another very, very old uh, sea chant shanty. Um, actually a snippet of this was included in the very first Jaws movie and uh, this is called Farewell and Adieu. Farewell and adieu to you, Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you daughters of Spain. For we've received orders to sail back to England. And we may or might never all see you again. We'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We'll rant and we'll rave across the salt sea until we strike soundings in the channel of old England from ocean to silly. Tis thirty-five leagues. We hove our ship to with the wind at southwest, boys. We hove our ship to to take soundings clear in fifty-five fathoms with a clear sandy bottom. We filled our main topsail, up channel did steer. We'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We'll rant and we'll rave across the salt sea until we strike soundings in the channel of old England. From ocean to silly, tis thirty-five leagues. The first land we made was a point called the Deadman. Next, Ram said, off Plymouth, start Poland and White. 
We sailed by BG, by Fairly and Dungeness, then sailed straight away for the South Morning Light. We'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We'll rant and we'll rave across the salt sea until we strike soundings in the channel of old England. From ocean to silly, tis thirty-five leagues. The signal was given for our good ship to anchor that night in the Downs to lie with the fleet. Let go your shank painter, let go your cat stopper, haul up your clue garnets, let tacken sheets fly. We'll rant and we'll roar like new British sailors. We'll rant and we'll rave across the salt sea until we strike soundings in the channel of old England from ocean too silly, tis thirty-five leagues. Let everyone here drink up their full bumper, let everyone here drink up their full bowl, and let us be jolly and drown melancholy. Here's the health to each jovial and true-hearted soul. We'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors, we'll rant and we'll rave across the salt sea, until we strike soundings in the channel of old England. From ocean to silly, tis thirty-five leagues. We'll rant and we'll roar like true British sailors. We'll rant and we'll rave across the salt sea until we strike soundings in the channel of old England. From ocean to silly, tis thirty-five leagues.